My name is Emeline Munozaga Sana and uh, I'm an, an assistant lecturer in uh, the Department of Mathematics, uh, School of Science in the College of Science and Technology, the University of Rwanda, and uh, I'm currently pursuing the a PhD in uh, Mathematical Statistics at Leitroping University in Sweden. My research is about uh, high dimensional discriminant analysis. Uh, so that is applying discriminant analysis into high dimensional data. High dimensional data is just the data to which uh, way fewer observations than uh, the exponential variables. So in this case, discriminant analysis is just analysis you do uh, when you want to classify uh, or to define some rule that will distinguish different categories. If you have a new subject you want to allocate in two or more different categories. So that's what this discriminant analysis is about. Discriminant analysis is widely applied. It already has been uh, applied for ages. So it can be ap applied anywhere. And uh, nowadays we are mostly dealing with high dim dimensional data. So it's a, it's a, let's say, I would say it's a good contribution to the society right now to use high, high dimensional data. Whenever you want to classify, whenever you want to have to allocate individuals or subjects into different categories, you can always use uh, discriminant analysis. So it can be used anywhere by any researchers or any analyst, data analysts. To the younger ones, uh, especially young ladies that would like to pursue mathematics or any science in general, so what I would say is uh, go for it if you feel you are good at mathematics or any other science, if you feel that you like mathematics, you love it, then don't let anyone stop you, don't let the mindset or the society stop you saying this is not for you. So it's for you, you love it, you are good at it, then go for it.